well, we were up at 5.30, but it's 6 o'clock, 6.15 now, actually. I'm slow today. Hi, guys. Good morning. Come on, Tuxie. Come on. Oh, goodness. Stripes in the way. I didn't do that just right. I got out of practice. <laughs> Let me fix it. Come on, buddy. Oh, good boy. It's cold out here. It was in the 30s last night. I don't know that it froze, but it's cold. Well, we are having less leaves come down now, but all the leaves aren't down. I was just thinking I didn't have out the blower yesterday. These guys are really happy to have chicken again. Good morning. I don't think we're too late this morning. Hopefully not. Wouldn't want to start off the week late. Good morning, Ruby. Ruby says it's a crisp 35 out there this morning. I think we're only going to get up into like 55, 53, something like that today. Definitely a noticeable drop in temperature over uh, over what we were experiencing the last week. I do not have autopilot this morning and I have a new message. Front camera blocked or blinded. Clean camera or wait for it to regain visibility. Um, Obviously, I can't look at the camera housing right now to see if there's condensation, but I doubt it. So, I don't know what's going on. I'll check at St. Monica's. The message has come and gone a few times. The window's not super clean, but it's not that dirty. Kind of slow traffic coming into town this morning. People a little antsy out here. We're, Ruby says 728, so we're we're doing decent today. Not super helpful that we didn't make this light though. It's the Proterra bus. We can hear the motor. It kind of whirs up and whirs back down. Now I clearly said front camera and I'm going to say that it's possible there's a little um, fog inside the camera housing up there, a little condensation, it's possible. I'm going to say there, I'm going to say that message was true and then my question would be other than the fact that it was quite a big temperature difference this morning, why? But yes, I do agree that it is quite possible that camera was blocked. Hard to show you guys on video, but there's a little film there. Well, the sign is still saying 1120 new traffic pattern. Um, I guess I'm a little skeptical, but um, Sure, I hope they make it. The weather's gotten colder this week, although I think they're done with the cement and what they're doing now is asphalt, so I don't know how warm it has to be for that. We're up to 41 now. I mean, surely there are several hours of the afternoon that are good. You can see the cement over there. Maybe the sunshine is probably not so great in that direction right now. But I think, I'm just trying to say, I think they got a lot more asphalt to lay to be ready for a new traffic pattern on 1120. Hopefully, at that point, I won't be on the road for a few days and I won't care. <laughs> Donnie, everybody else was smart enough to stay home this morning. What can I say? <laughs> yeah, I've got on a, a knit cap this morning instead of my summer hat. It's chilly. I saw one of the moms that walks this morning on the track when I went past and she was all bundled up. I've got three layers on. 41 does not inspire me to be out here. I wish the whole trail was in the sun at <laughs> this time of year. Well, they're back over there working on that land this morning. So far, there are a few big trees left. 
they definitely are taking the pines down and there are some more to take down and processing them for paper or lumber or whatever they've been we see piles of them stacked up up there that they're being carted off as real pieces of timber and not uh stuff going into the shredder or being taken to the landfill or anything they're, they're neatly stacked so don speculated it's two different groups some processing the trees for money and some clearing the land oh. Anyway, buffer around the edge of the property is good. The more they leave, the, the more I like it. Don and I have been talking up a storm um, just about how things are going to be for the end of the school year and the holidays mostly. I wanted to say thank you to everybody that so far that's left a comment on yesterday's video. I really appreciate it. I enjoyed reading and answering them, reading them to Don and answering them this morning right before we headed out on our walk. Um, so that so that's good and uh, I don't know it's nicer over here I haven't been able to record much because the wind up at the track was whipping you know the I don't like to do any more windy audio than I have to but over here in this corner seemed to be still for a few minutes anyway Marty I'll make sure you get some inside time with Johnny this afternoon okay I can only properly supervise one of you at a time <laughs> Poor Marty. <laughs> I uh, just installed the uh, three, uh, excuse me, four chairs up top here. I guess it's time to go back and figure out how the steps go. Um, I hadn't quite figured that out the other day. Uh-oh. Stripe. Did she say hello? You okay, little girl? Come on. Come up here on your table. Come on. Stay by mama. Anyway, I've got 20 more minutes and I'm just working through the steps. I uh, got the balcony done, like I said, and I also got the nice little peak over the front porch area here. It's time to go get Johnny. I hope to be working on the stained glass window for here and here later this afternoon. And nighttime's relieved that Stripe went back outside. She keeps trying to make friends, and he's not sure. She goes, it's stressful on me, Mom. The town has taken down the flags, and it wouldn't surprise me if they were also putting up the Christmas, although they might make two passes. Well, they are definitely paving this afternoon. There's a whole line of dump trucks here filled with asphalt. You can see the roller, you can see the asphalt, so maybe they are going to make their date. Well, the sooner there's less construction here and it's just underneath and off of this road, the better, right? So I, I want, I'm pulling for them to make their date. And if they, you can see they're putting in the soundproofing walls down in that direction. But they haven't obviously started paving the actual turnpike road. Oh, joy the dust. Yeah, we have a 70% chance of rain tomorrow, so Don decided not to wash either car yesterday or, and not to plan to do it today. But it looks like um, a week of dryness after tomorrow's rain, so maybe if he gets a little time, he'll wash the cars. Time end, not too cold. I don't have autopilot this afternoon. It's frustrating. Uh-oh, doggy, that's not a good place to be. Well, it's pretty out there, but Ruby says it's still only 50 degrees. That's not very warm. So they've laid the wreath, some of the Christmas stuff that needs to go up at the base of some of the electric poles. I guess the guys on the cherry picker were working their way back up or down the street to put them up because I doubt they'd want to leave them sitting there overnight. It should be beginning to look a lot like Christmas here really soon. I think the town Christmas tree lighting is officially December Thursday, 
think it's December the 1st. It's almost always on a Thursday because I'll close the street and have a little thing and Thursday night seems to work good like the week after Thanksgiving or something. So Thanksgiving's actually pretty early this year which I always prefer. Here on the left you can see they've actually put the wreaths up already. So they've done one side of the street and working on the other. What in the world? Well, I bought the battery. You, he didn't say I couldn't use it. <laughs> well, I knew we had a battery we bought from Jack. It's the 2170 out of a Model 3. But it's in our flashlight? Yeah, it's in the flashlight. I bought a special flashlight. This flashlight is for 2170s. It takes a single... Is there anything else on the planet besides a Tesla battery pack that uses a 2170? That flashlight. <laughs> Did you buy the flashlight from Jack too? No, I bought the flashlight. It was hard to find, but I did find it. I've had it a couple of years. Okay, well, I wondered what had happened to our quote unquote Tesla battery. It's been, it's been in that flashlight within like a week of, I bought the flashlight and the battery basically at about the same time. Well, I wanted to know why it wasn't on display in the curio, curio cabinet with my Tesla gla tequila glass. Mine is the tequila because, well. well it fits in my, 18650 battery charger, but it's tight. Are you really allowed to charge it in that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> At least I am. <laughs> oh, I am almost done with the um, book one, the, this part, um, or at least this step. Um, yeah, I'm trying to finish. It's time to quit. It's 5.30. Don's so this work. is my 18650 battery. This is my 2170 battery. As you can see, they're quite a bit bigger. But the one that's a real Tesla battery is the silver one. That's right. This is not a real Tesla battery. Okay, but and there's is. your charger. Yeah. You're going to charge it back I'm up. I'm going to put it, put it on the charger. Okay. Yep. Way cool. That is a good flashlight. I mean, it puts oh, out yeah. some serious power. Well, I don't think this is only like the second or third time I've recharged it in all these... I might have set it down and it's still been on today. It's either that or I just used it and I was hunting Lego parts and I was using the flashlight to point yeah, well, in the bin. This is a real brand name flashlight. That's not one of those, you know, knockoffs. This is actually the real McCoy. Did you pay fifty dollars for it? I don't know. I think I paid thirty something for it. Yeah, without the battery. The yellow one is a good one because it actually glows in the dark. I mean, not for like forever, but if it gets charged up during the day it must be phosphorescent versus fluorescent it shines it floats too i think well i am done with book one down to the flowers and trees the doorknob the stairwell and the window decoration so the next section it literally drops in back here and it drops in up here so it is modular I won't just be continuing to build up on this part. I'll be building um, other sections and dropping them on. You can kind of see the finished areas here, but a few studs where it'll attach when it goes in. So this is a really fun build so far, really fun. On the way home from school today, this afternoon, I picked up this Mindstorms Lego Droid Developer Kit. It's from <clears throat> 1999, requires Windows 95 or 98. Johnny was reading it. The specifications is like, um, uh, I don't know, like, uh, yeah, RAM 16 megabyte. Available hard disk space, 50 megabyte, um, needs a mouse, Pentium 133 chip. Anyway, he was getting, he thought that was pretty cool. Um, so you'll recognize this as a bunch of technique parts, um, you Lego um, people. 
and it has a special R2-D2 head part that's here and in great shape. And Don was able to take out the um, bad, there's two AA batteries and put in two new AA batteries. It comes on, it already has the software loaded. I'm able to run the software. So um, I don't think I'm going to have any trouble putting this guy back together. At least I hope not. I hope he's all here. I would consider this to be the only probably could not replace parts. The rest of it's pretty standard. Um, so I'm pretty excited about it. It does have the CD and it has the whole big instruction book, which was how he um, figured out how to get the batteries out and stuff. But like I said, it's got programs already loaded and I tested it and it makes little R2-D2 noises and I'm super excited to start, um, to start putting it together. So I don't know exactly when I'm going to do that, but sooner than later, I think that sooner, sooner than later, I'm pretty excited about it. Facebook marketplace. I just was like, what is a droid developer kit? And it's Mindstorms, And how can that be? And it actually had it open, but I closed it now. It actually, um, you can hook up the original Lego brick, the RCX, um, microcomputer. <laughs> to it and make it do more stuff and I don't have one of those but if I did I might really like to hook it up so I might put that on my wish list um that seems like that would be pretty cool because it was RCX EV3 and then um the the new one I don't I can never remember what they call that one but anyway um well, actually, there was RCX, and then there was the first Mindstorms, and then EV3, and then um, what's out now. There's been at least four, at least four. So, but this is, it works, and that is so cool.